I have never met any really wicked person before. I feel rather frightened. I'm so afraid he will look just like everyone else. He does. The 2012-2013 Persephone season kicked off in classic fashion with the Oscar Wilde farce, The Importance of Being Earnest. The actors involved couldn't wait to take the stage to inaugurate the season. It's like the start of school again. Everyone's back from summer holidays. There's new office supplies. I don't know. It's kind of fun. Uh, and you know that everyone's looking forward to the first production and they've put a lot of time and energy into it. Set in Victorian England, the play satirizes social conventions of the time. And although it was first performed in 1895, those involved in the production said there are themes at work that still resonate with a modern audience. It doesn't stop being real, it doesn't stop being true. There are always going to be people who are pretending to be a lot more proper than they are. It pokes fun at the people that are portraying it, so it really pokes fun at the upper class at that time. Up next for Persephone was The Light in the Piazza, which tells the story of an American mother and her emotionally stunted daughter, whose world changes dramatically when she falls in love with a young man while vacationing in Italy. In the director's notes for the show, I say, if, you know, if you allow yourself just to sit back and take this show in, you are going to be shocked, you're going to be moved, you're going to be puzzled, you're going to be uh, overjoyed, you're going to, you know, there are so many things that'll pull and, you know, push and pull at your heartstrings. Scar. Chica Trice. People come away actually with a lot of heated discussion about, about the show afterwards because, uh, uh, because it's quite emotionally charged with the, you know, when the secrets unfold and you discover things that are quite surprising in the story, yeah. The final production of 2012 was also the biggest and possibly most popular show in the history of Persephone Theatre, as The Sound of Music had an extended six-week run. The huge cast included several young children, and it was up to associate choreographer Christina Gordon to make sure they all ended up in the right place at the right time in the complicated production. Marta. It's kind of like managing uh, five or six or seven puppy dogs at the same time, <laughs> because uh, when you say, okay, we need to do that with energy, mm -hmm. they do it with energy. And so it's almost like taking the kid out of them for the first little while and then asking them to put the child back in. The staging of the beloved Rodgers and Hammerstein classic also led to a sort of homecoming for Saskatoon's W. Joseph Matheson, who looked to portray Captain Von Trapp more sympathetically than the cinematic version. Lisa. And I think he's more of a, more of a heartbroken man who can't stand to look at his kids because it reminds him of his wife, which is the amazing thing that Maria releases that in him. His co-star Jamie Armstrong also consciously avoided being overly influenced by the movie and Julie Andrews' portrayal of her character, Maria. You know, Julie Andrews is so iconic in the role and, you know, I, I think the best thing about Julie is that she really used the parts of her that were really similar to her, you know, to, to, to bring out into the role. So I just kind of try to zone in the parts of me that are like Maria and I love kids and that's my favorite part of the show so it's yeah. great to work with them. Stay tuned coming up later in the show we'll have the second part of our look at Persephone's 2012-13 season. I'm Simon Hyatt reporting. Well of course you sing. Everybody sings. What songs do you know?